Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the trailer, and when is it going to come. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you guys know, Supergirl Season 6 has an official premiere date, and it's coming very soon, in 22 days time exactly. So, not very long, literally just over 3 weeks just under four weeks until we get Supergirl back. And so with that, we should be expecting some sort of promotional push for Supergirl. So we all know that Supergirl wasn't going for a early premiere date in March. We all knew they were trying to release it late in the summer. That was the main idea. However, things change and due to the current circumstances, productions are likely to get delayed. And it just so happens Superman Lois is running behind on their filming and at one point they were going to have to take a break and so they're taking a break early so they don't impact their season and they fall really far behind, but they are far behind. However, Supergirl is ahead because I think they're filming episode 9 or 10 at the moment. I think it's 10. However, they have these seven episodes in the bag, and so they are premiering seven episodes when Superman and Lois goes off on their hiatus after episode five, and Supergirl is going to pick up from there. That is March 30th, so it's going to be around, and it's going to be coming back, and that's super exciting for us Supergirl fans. This is obviously Supergirl's final season, so there's a lot of expectations. We're all looking forward to seeing how things turn out. And so, yeah, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the details, what could be happening in this trailer. Also, we're going to be mainly talking about, like, when we're going to get the trailer, what sort of promotional push is there going to be, what to look out for for you guys who are Supergirl fans watching this video. Also, at the end of the video, we're going to go over a few photos from the set that we didn't go over the other day. So, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead into this. So, we know March 30th is the premiere date for episode 1, then there will air 7 episodes. And then they will go on a break until Superman and Lois finishes its season. They have 10 more episodes after their break. And then after that, Supergirl is going to return with their final 13 episodes, with the finale being in October. So Supergirl is going to be on for a long while, from March till October. That is a hell of a long time. Obviously, they are going to be taking a big break. That is a 10-week break between their mid-season and the start of their back half. But that's just due to current circumstances and Superman and Lois coming back. So... I don't think it's the biggest deal because we still get a DC TV show whilst one is off. So, you know, no big deal. So I'm really excited. Now, what sort of promotional push are they going to give Supergirl Season 6? Now, some people are worried that they're not going to give any promotional push in terms of trailers and promos. Because Black Lightning is in its final season, Supergirl is in its final season, and Black Lightning is barely getting any promotion from the CW. So people are wondering, are they even going to release a trailer? Are they going to release any promos? Are they going to release any photos or synopsis? Well, they are. And I'll tell you why, and it's a sad fact, but Black Lightning doesn't do as well for the CW, and it seems like... They are cutting back on their costs in terms of advertisement. So I feel bad for the show and I really wish they were pushing it. But in terms of Supergirl, I would say it's very, very likely that they're going to push it in the next week or so because they're going to want people to come back and to watch the show March 30th. Be like, this is the season six premiere. It's the final season. They have something to push and Supergirl does them really well. Now that must be put into perspective compared to Black Lightning because Black Lightning does them pretty well. It's like pretty much average for the network. However, Supergirl does them even better in terms of ads. And a couple of years ago, I think it was like the CW's most profitable show at one point. So yeah, they make money from the show and they want people to see Supergirl. Now, also the comparison can be made to Arrow and they did actually promote Arrow in its final season. So I'm gonna say it's more like what they're gonna do with Arrow. However, because of this surprise announcement and Supergirl coming back in literally less than four weeks, just over three weeks, that means it's coming pretty soon, so they're going to have to start pushing Supergirl pretty fast. Now, I'm expecting sometime in the next week or so, I would say probably about a week, maybe give or take a few days, and you're going to start seeing a mini push from the CW. So, I think what they're going to do first is they're going to release a trailer, like a one minute trailer, very similar to The Flash's first trailer, not the DC fandom trailer, but the trailer we got like a month ago or so where it had footage from like the first one or two or three episodes 
and then they combined it to make it like a season trailer like the flash is coming back march 2nd get hyped guys that is basically what you're gonna see for supergirl and they're gonna you know mix up footage from episode one two and three probably most likely and then you're gonna see them pushing that sometime in the next week so be on the lookout for that and now with that first trailer what else are we gonna get on top of that well i would say we're probably gonna get a synopsis next because they always like to release their synopsis quite early so like the flash just released their episode 4 synopsis and that's coming out in just over two weeks so they like to do it in advance and i'm gonna say after they drop that trailer or maybe even just before they drop that trailer they're gonna drop an episode one synopsis and then as we move into like the last two weeks slash like one and a half weeks i would say you're definitely gonna get some photos from the set from episode one obviously they shot part of episode one a while ago and we're not sure if they're going to be reusing some of that footage so they will have photos for that and there's always a set photographer around so it's going to be combining new footage and old footage and it will set up what's to come this season but i also reckon they're going to finish a few things that they left hanging we don't know if they're going to figure out what's going on with the demon Gemma, you know from the leviathan like what happened at the end of the season are they going to wrap up what happened with lex is this stuff going to be all at the start of the season or is it going to come back later? I think those are valid questions to do with the story and what's going to be happening. Okay, so going back in terms of promotional material, we may get like a small little promo that they'll release and they'll play on the CW where it's like a shortened version of that same minute long trailer they release in the next week or so. And you'll see that playing like the week of when Supergirl is coming out and they're going to be like Supergirl coming back on a new night, Tuesday, for the season 6 premiere for the final season. So, they're gonna do that, and it's definitely gonna be either just like a cut down version of that minute long trailer, or it's gonna have new footage in, and it's just going to be a solely episode 1 trailer, and it's gonna be more like a small promo, so like 30 seconds or less. The CW loves to put out promos like that, I mean that's what they do week by week anyway for the new episodes after you know, episode, say, one finishes, then they will release a tiny promo for episode two, and that's where we do our trailer breakdowns from. So, we should be expecting something like that, even if it's not new footage, or it's like one new scene within that promo, it's going to be like a shortened version of that longer one-minute trailer. And so, on top of that, the final thing we'll get is sneak peeks. And so, sneak peeks normally are released, like, the day, or like, three days before, an episode airs and that is to hype up fans by showing them the first look footage like a whole scene and sneak peeks are really exciting because they are like getting part of an episode rather than just getting like snippets that are included in trailers so you should expect at least one or two because like recently with the flash season 7 premiere they released like three sneak peeks i think before the show actually premiered so there was like one three days before then there was one like two days before and then one like the night of and so they release them through various outlets and I'm expecting them to do something along the lines of that with Supergirl. And so that is basically the final thing, apart from, you know, any interviews or social media posts some of the cast do to hype up the show and to hype up it's coming back. So there is going to be a push and I think you guys should be really excited because I can't wait to see what is in these trailers, these sneak peeks, the synopsis and everything that comes with, you know, promoting a show. But yeah, in terms of content, in terms of detail and like what's going to happen in episode 1 and in those trailers, we know that there was a bunch of unused footage from the season finale that would have been the season finale, but they combined two episodes. So they do have leftover footage, so it's going to be interesting to see if we get that scene where they're on the bench that was taken on the set, like Canada Graphs got a bunch of photos of that, and there was a few other scenes that they were shooting but actually never made it. So I'm wondering if they're going to continue straight on from where they left off or are they completely going to retcon how it was supposed to end and they're just going to jump forward in time, forget about it and start with their new story. So will they do a flash and just continue the season or will they just start with this brand new season? So I'm interested to see that and I'm also especially interested to see how Melissa has gone back and she's filmed like episode 1, 2, 3, whatever she has gone back and filmed. And basically how she fits into these episodes because if you guys didn't know she wasn't there for half of the time they were shooting since like the end of October so there is a lot that could be going down and so the final thing in this video 
I want to talk about some of the set photos. So you can see on the screen right here, they come from Just Jared. You can follow the link in the description below to see all of the photos. I'm just going to include a few ones in this video. So this is like alternate photos from the ones that I talked about in my video the other day that Kanye Ross took. And so these ones are really good quality and you can see kind of a whole bigger scope of what's going on in the situation. So like in this photo, you can see Melissa. I think she has just landed at this point because in another photo that I will pop up on the screen right here, she does a superhero landing, she lands and you can see um, she's basically just jumped in and obviously they'll CGI that in afterwards. And yeah, so there's just like a bunch of cool photos like this one where she's doing like a superhero pose and you can just see the suit and the suit is exactly the same. There were some rumors going around that they had changed like minorly altered the suit. However, if you look at the photo, you can tell that it's pretty much exactly the same and the only reason why people might have thought it had been changed is because of like picture quality, photo quality. And so, yeah, it's pretty much the same. She has the season two hair, that is the main difference from last season. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm asking, do you think there is going to be a time jump or not when we go into the season? Because will they explain the new haircut? Like, did she just go to the hairdressers and was like, yeah, cut off the bangs, like in one day from like the finale till episode one. So I'm wondering how they explain it. Will they talk about it or not? We'll have to wait and see. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.